this is Tim from the Guitar Pedal Review. Today we're looking at the Moody Blue pedal from Henretta Engineering in St. Paul, Minnesota. And I really hesitate to call it a reverb pedal because it does sound like a reverb tank with a touch of modulation on the top. It does have three trim pots underneath the hood, so let's take a look at those and we're going to set it and forget it. Alrighty, we got the plate off the pedal now. And uh, let's look at the controls. And the decay time is on the upper left there, if I'm reading this right. And uh, we've got, um, I'm pretty sure that the volume is in the middle there. And to the right is the dry volume. So um, let's start adjusting. Here's what the guitar sounds like without the pedal on. All right, let's engage. All right, he found the pick. And uh, really um, what I'm wanting to look at, I don't want to mess with, at least I don't think I want to, uh, the effect volume. I want to try to leave it alone. Now let's look at uh, what we can create with this pedal. Let's uh, start adjusting some of the trim pots. I'm going to try to do this with the guitar hanging on me here, so try to bear with me on this one. And the first one I want to look at is the decay time, and this is going to tell us if I'm reading this paper right. It's on the left side here, so let's look at this. Let's uh, let's uh, turn uh, the knob back. Let's turn the trim pot back a little bit, so I know that I'm turning the right one. Okay, that's as far as it goes. And that's with uh, the chicken pick. This is the uh, 2.7. Quite a bit of decay time. Let's turn it the other way. Oh yeah. There's some self oscillation going on there. Turn that down some. Okay. Oh, let's turn this dude down. And then with the volume pedal, let's mess with that a little bit. And that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not very good at that, uh, <laughs> at the volume pedal uh, kind of sitting down there in, in the position I'm in, but uh, I really like the, 
the fact that uh, what we're doing here is we're setting our own custom setup here on the reverb. And uh, that's where we get the uh, set it and forget it. So it's really uh, what you like and what your tastes are that we're shooting for here. And uh, that's a pretty big reverb though. Definitely cool. I want to turn it back down. Okay now. Okay, now that's as far down as it goes. Let's still got some a lot of reverb there. Let's uh my next move would be on the uh was it the dry volume? Yeah, the dry volume. That's what I want to look at. It says uh, unity gain is around four. Let's see. Let's see here. Am I right? Reading that right? Yeah. Let's adjust that. Now, to me, that that definitely, I mean, every little tweak, it seems like we're making it better and better. Um, let's turn it down. Let's go all the way down. At least I think I'm turning it down. I think I'm turning it up. So what's happening is we're getting less of the dry volume with that. Let's turn it back the other way. Seems like we're boosted the signal a little bit there. Let's get the pick out. I'm having trouble. Definitely, definitely sweet sounding pedal. Love it. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to mess with this pedal and I'm going to find my reverb. And uh, like I said, we're going to set it and forget it. And uh, that's what we'll do in the next part of this video. When I come back, I'm going to have exactly the, the reverb that I wish to use every day. Alrighty, I got the pedal on the board and I did adjust all the trim pots underneath the hood. There's so much you can achieve with the pedal 
But uh, this is what I came up with. This is what I really like about it. It's definitely a warm sounding pedal. Let's take a listen to it. Definitely gives it a real warm feel there. Definitely love it. Let's listen to it with it turned off here. Here's the, uh, here's without the reverb on. You can see it's a pretty big difference there. Let's turn it back on. All righty. I definitely give it a thumbs up. Love it. Kevin, you knock it out of the park every time. 